Toki what is up Tokusatsu fans? Regan Wilkes Autism Productions here, that's why RWAP Regan Wilkes 54 here, that's why, and welcome back to another Tokusatsu review of all time. So today I'm gonna start reviewing one of the 1990s Japanese shows that is the second Sentai show in the Heisei era and the 14th season of Super Sentai and another pre Drew Ranger DVD that was released by Shout Factory. So today I'm gonna start reviewing the Chikyu Sentai Five Man means Earth Squadron, Five Man, so because Five Man is the 14th season and it's one of my, another favorite Super Sentai of all time, so yeah, and another pre Drew Ranger, like Jetman DVD was released in North America back in 2018 before Super Sentai DVDs are back for more releasing than 2022 by Shout Factory, so, so anyway, let's begin with a review, shall we? Here we go! So, because the Five Man is the best one, because it was like where it all started began that because Five Men are like the siblings. The siblings, they're five kids that are three brothers and two sisters that make them siblings and became teachers after 20 years ago after their planet was attacked by the brutal zone empire. The five Hoshikawa children who escaped and were raised on Earth must prepare for a brand new year, this time through. I mean, though. They're already having developed the powerful five man technology that would help them defend Earth from the same empire that conquered the home world. So, I mean, the beginning of the first episode was like a backstory, like the origins, like what happened since like 1970s. Like the, the, the first episode of the beginning part that took place in 1970s that about the parents were attacked and, and had the, when the planet was, was, Getting destroyed be by the the Zone Empire. I mean, the, the called Planet P16, and and the robot named Arthur. I mean, there was like a another like it's like a early Alpha Five to me because I mean, Five Man was like cool and and there's like two invaders that are like they look like humans that could get revenge that could trans to Earth. I mean, they like have their own different appearance and. In different episodes when they came to Earth. Like after like how the five siblings had became teachers and 20 years later and like took place in 1990 and now after 20 years later that the Zone Empire wants to take control of Earth. I mean I mean the one like the beginning part where like Gaku as Five Red was a child who's trying to get a revenge and payback wanted to shoot on the villain that was that was also is Gora. I mean Gora it was like a first red leader that was like the zone characters that we have like all the characters that and the zone empires was like you know I mean they're like something that because of characters we have like Gaku, Five Red, Ken, Five Blue, Fumia Five Black, Katsumi, Five Pink, and Remy, the Five Yellow, which, and I know the costumes were used, I mean, because the Five Yellow costume were used in Super Mega Force and Go Kyger, and the suits were used in the comic book, too, from the Power Rangers Shatter Grid. So, because the villains that uh, we have, like, I mean, though, the beginning, like, there was, like, illusion, I mean, it's before the final episode, like, spoiler alert, back in the 1992 and the 1991, we have, like, Galactic Empress. Meadows, that because she is a Sikh immortality, which she can only gain through draining all life from 1,000 planets. She has already destroyed uh, 999, leaving her price in reach with only the Earth standing in her way. Because, I mean, they destroy like 999 planets because that'll make Earth as the last one. And the Zone wants to like start invading Earth, and before they start to become five men in the after their. So the school was destroyed by the zone. It was like before they, before the five man wants to get revenge on the zone after what they have done. That was by Galactic Fang Zaza, the reptilian cyborg in purple and black, was hatched from an egg and modified by Galactic Scientist Dodora to serve as a bodyguard, which that would make it like purple, like a female five black and a villain. 
style, and we have Galactic Scientist Dodora, Chief Weapons Researcher and Scientific Mind of the Galactic Imperial Zone, Dodora was Scorpion like a gold armor. That's before Remy and and Scorpina from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And she does not like engaging in comments, so preferring strategy over field work and re realize uh, that us to be her muscle. Wait, what? A galactic swordsman, Billion, a status and bully this warrior loves to challenge and to be weaker foes to bolster his own ego and reputation. He despised the hero by Red for being his equal in combat and wants to crush him at all costs. He cares nothing for his fellow villains would gladly sacrifice any of them to further his own ends. Because somehow they're like sacrificing by Billion because there were there was one episode I did watch of his like a true love episode. I mean that wish that happens then for like episode 39 from Five Man that Billion tried to lie to the one about like not protecting. So yeah and and the leader did Captain Gora that was immensely skilled at powerful Gar Gorua served as the captain of the battleship. Well gear, I mean in the lowest right hand incest mobile based in based for the Galactic Imperial Army Zone. He is, he is also field the commander of the villains, taking order only from Empress Meadow. I mean, I know that Vibe Red was correct since like episode 47 that the meadow was the illusion like up to the sky to keep talking to each other about when invading earth happens because meadow is just illusion because before the final episode happened the meadow was died a long time or so ago and galactic merchant dungoros that he is lying cunny but believes he used overwhelming force Strategy. He looked like a half human with a lizard tail and it looked like kind of looked like noodles out of his nose so I mean that's on his hat, you know. And and his greatest weakness is his greed and his desire to accumulate as much money as he can without spending a cent more than he has to. Okay. And there's like a one more that's like changing leadership that is before Jetman. I mean, we have, I mean, a dude that was singing who can speak English too. I mean, that was like wish it was from uh, episode 28. Uh, hold on, I forgot his name again. Hold on. Oh yeah, Chevalier. Oh yeah, the first Captain Chevalier. I mean that he is also like trying to change leadership from. Gaura that wants to make Gaura like his last chance and he became like a sweeping mob thing like a maid like Butler somehow. I mean I did like don't know why because it's funny for five man and I mean the, the villains that were like too brutal and too cruel to me when I first time watched five man I mean the five man was a great show because I mean, they ha and I and I know five men have like two robots that is called Five Robo and Star Five that could like to mix up their own mega swords that could that could combine together and the base two of where they live thanks to Arthur. I mean that could make them mix up together as the triple swords. Like I know it's like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers mega sword that do triple swords. I mean. I mean, the base is called the Five Base. Hold on, I forgot what base it's called again. The Magma Base is where they lived and raised by Arthur after what after what happened when their parents died. And I did found out if that they were not dead because they were still alive the whole time. Because I thought they were like if they want revenge on the Zone because they finally did defeat the Zone because their parents, their mom and dad, were still on the planet the whole time. Like after like the few episodes when I thought they died, and there was one episode when I thought their mom was dead because she was still alive, but it was nothing but an illusion that Remy the five yellows saw, and and yeah, that's all that happens, and 
yeah, yeah, we got the five man with the best show that did happen in the nineties where like what happens it happens back in twenty years after after like the parents were almost were dead from nineteen seventies to waited twenty years later to nineteen nineties the Chiku Sentai five man because Gaku Ken Fumiya Kasumi and Remy are the sibling teachers and who have become five man. I mean sometimes they always love caring about kids when they love five man. Oh yeah, and there was a wonder thing making fun of five man they're called Ginga Sentai Ginga Man. I'm not talking about the Seiju Sentai Ginga Man from nineteen ninety eight. I know it's been twenty five years of Ginga Man. But I think it's like the knockoff Ginga Man, the called Galaxy Squadron Ginga Man. They're they're just like show offs to making fun of Five Man. They think Five Man was a not okay Sentai, <laughs> but too bad Ginga Sentai Ginga Man trying to make fun of Five Man and trying to impersonate Five Man. I mean, Five Man are the better ones. Yeah. I mean, you can see, like, the DVD cover, the purple background. I mean, I do recognize that logo that was, like, after waited since 2019. That, that, yeah, there was a video that was by MMPR Toys about which Super Sentai DVD is coming when they, when we thought if it's gonna be Turbo Ranger or Five Man, because after Jetman was the Free Ranger DVD that came out, so. So, yeah. And I love, like, all these episodes where it all, like, started, like, the backstories and storytellings with Five Man and the uh, Zone Empire and the Vibe Hoshikawa children, too. Like, all the aliens are, like, inhumans, and sometimes they're, like, warriors, and some of them are, like, awesome and funny, and, and too many golems, like, to, like, they could summon to make them grow monsters, too. Like, Gorlings, like, how many numbers were there of Gorlings? Like, I'm so, just confused after finishing watching Five Man. So, yeah, because I should give this show, like, 10 out of 10 for the perfect show of Super Sentai for Five Man. So, it also includes 48 episodes, so. So, yeah, so if you guys know, hit the like, favorite comments down below, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. And then, I'll see y'all later for more Tokusatsu review, and peace out! Mm -hmm.